Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Armando Matos, K7PRO. And he says, because of HOA restrict homeowners association restrictions, my only way to install wire antennas is the following. Right now, he has a 921 Anun, actually, with a 49-foot end sloper that works pretty good. Want to try something different, so I'm going to replace it with an NFED half wave with a 49 to 1, which I recommend more than the 9 to 1 for the NFED half waves. You can actually get them on Amazon reasonably inexpensively. He says, I added a drawing I made on my phone, and unfortunately it did not attach, so I don't have it. He sent this in January of this year, so apologies for not getting to it earlier. I'll show you on the whiteboard what he's going to do. Okay, the 49 to 1 ballon. Now, this is being fed with coax, and if this piece of coax is long enough, this will act as the counterpoise. I suggest 20 to 30 feet long. You might have to coil it up and then bring it over to where your lightning arrestor is. Okay, now this is going to go up to a high point, probably in the trees, around a pulley, okay, and come down for 16 feet. So this is 50 feet right here. Now, you'll find that because of the end loading on this thing, 66 feet might be a bit too long for 40 meters. Okay, now you cut this to where it's resonant right at the bottom of the 40 meter band. If this is 7.0, 7.03. Oh, you want the lowest SWR at the bottom, and it'll go up gradually here. The reason for that, because that way at 14 megahertz, this is a direct multiple to here. If you make it in the middle here, it'll throw the resonant point, the 14, right on out of the band. So that's why you've got to go for the low part. Okay, 49 to 1 ballon. Get this up about 7 feet or higher off the ground so that people walking through here don't hit it, okay? And you don't want to guillotine anybody with this wire. So that's why I say seven foot above the ground. Run it up to your pulley, which I assume is in a tree or something like that, and bring it down, and that will work fine. You do not need to send the wire in a straight direction. Now, if you look at it from the top, you could even go that way if you wanted to, all one wire. Now you can trim down here and then use a couple bungee cords to keep the thing tight. Don't stretch the bungee cords all the way because when the tree goes this way in the wind, it's gonna stretch out those bungee cords more. When it goes this way in the wind, it's gonna stretch them less. So you want some nice happy medium. You want to preserve the bungee cords from UV light. UV is really bad on these things. So put a, like a plastic pipe or something around your bungee cords. You can always lift it off and up to see what the bungee cords are doing. But that will greatly lengthen the life of the bungee cords, which are susceptible to UV radiation and will eventually harden and break. Okay, this will work. Nothing wrong with it. I do recommend the 49 to 1. I do recommend a fairly long length of coax down to here because then this part, the outside of the coax, common mode current, acts as the counterpoise. If you only have a short piece of coax, this usually has an extra point on it to go to ground, it says. You don't go to ground, you, you create a length of wire here, 10 to 20 feet to act as a counterpoise. Note that that wire will be hot. So you don't want bare wire, you want wire with insulation on it. You get household wire, the kind of wire that you're looking for, THHN, you'll see that on the wire. You can buy all the wire from Home Depot. That's why I recommend the slightly longer coax. Now, I recognize the coax is over a dollar a foot, greater than one dollar per foot. It's expensive, okay? So you may have to conserve that if, if that's the case and it doesn't run correctly on there. A lot of these little, like the, that mess right there spells Guzizu. Okay, and they make a nice NFED half wave. I tested it, it's still up. That's what I'm using as my whisper antenna. Now, this length will not necessarily be 66 feet. Because of the loading in here, you may find you have to shorten that, and you want the low SWR right there. 
7.0 megahertz, okay? If anyone listening to this video would like to contribute to the channel funds so that I can do things like uh, put antennas up, go to HamFest and stuff like that, there's links in the text below the video that you can use. And until we next meet, 73.